Hi guys, this is Roger with Real Outdoor Adventures TV. You probably just got through watching one of Aaron's videos called What If? And that's part of the Survival Time series. And in that video, Aaron went over the basic supplies that you need in a survival bag to get you through a one to seven day scenario. Some of the other videos that we're gonna be going over, and Aaron mentioned this in his video. Uh, in Aaron's video, he had the survival blanket. And here, I've got the survival reflect tent. And uh, this is a really handy thing for you to carry along with you. Costs about eight bucks at Walmart. You can find them cheaper online, but I went ahead and decided to opt for the, uh, the Walmart brand. And what this is, this is the same thing as the blanket, except it makes a tent that you can crawl into and reflects your body heat back onto you. And we're gonna do a video coming up pretty soon on that as well. <clears throat> now another thing that Matthew's got here is the basic fire starter kit. And you can find these just about anywhere. And you can see that's just a, uh, a striker piece here and uh, there you have the, uh, the striker edge. And the rest of this is a magnesium block. And all you do is scrape off some of this magnesium to catch that spark and get your fire started. And uh, that's what we're gonna do here in just a moment. If you're stuck out here on a day like today, it's pretty cold outside. One of the first things, considering it's cold, one of the first things you're gonna start looking for there's a place to get warm because water's not going to do you any good tomorrow if you freeze to death tonight. That's why we got the fire starter and that's why we're talking about the survival tent. Uh, if you're in a situation where you're out in the heat and it's in the summer, well you can probably survive the night and then you can concentrate on your water. But in a cold situation like this, you're going to need to find somewhere that you can get warm tonight so that you can get out tomorrow and be able to look for that water source. So we're gonna try our hand here at doing a little bit of fire starting. According. Okay, what I've done here, I've found a rock. As you can see, the reason I'm using a rock is a lot of times when you're putting your magnesium down in here, you try to strike, it's gonna bounce around everywhere. What I want to do, you see that please? We want to take the magnesium, lay it out on here, so that when we do strike, it's not going to fly around everywhere. Let's go take quite a bit of this to actually be able to catch a spark. Let's just see now <clears throat> if we can lay a spark to it and get it to take off. We're not going to die! And now you see we've got a fire going. The rock works perfectly. So as you see there guys, um, just the difference taking that rock, putting it down there to put your magnesium on, that makes a big difference. Ooh, that way your magnesium is not bouncing around while you're trying to strike. Put your magnesium down, put your tinder over top of it, and then strike to get your fire going. Now we've established a fire. We can set up our tent kind of close to it, get a little heat on that tent. We don't want to set the tent up real close to the fire. Oh. Obviously, we don't want to burn up. Burn to death. But we get it close enough that we can get a little heat on the tent. That'll help keep us warm through the rest of the night. And if we had to, Matthew and I, we could take shifts through the night. One keeping the fire going, the other one sleeping. That no, I way, think I'll take the shift where half I sleep. It, <laughs> half, 
half it up. That way tomorrow we can concentrate on water. Now uh, let you see how easy it is to get a fire going. We're going to, on the next episode, we're going to work on the tent. Don't You're watching Real Outdoor Adventures TV. Don't die. Don't die. All of our videos that we're going to be doing are going to be geared toward the beginner. I know there's a lot of people out there that knows about survival, and uh, we welcome you to get in touch with us at Real Outdoor Adventures and offer your survival expertise to be able to help little guys like this. And uh, this one's starting to learn quite a bit. I'm proud of him. Um, so we're going to do these videos from a beginner level. As I said uh, on a, my other video of mine, that uh, Aaron also done one recently about the basic items that you can keep in a kit. But I mean, there's going to be times that you're going to be out here and uh, you're not going to have a bag with you. Maybe you just decided to walk down into the woods for a little while and uh, you get down there and you get hurt. Having something simple like this with you could save your life. And what I'm talking about again is that little fire starter. It's just a little magnesium block. You scrape that magnesium off the edge right there. Then you use this striker edge with a knife like he's been doing just to get your strike going. Something that simple can save your life. You've been watching Real Outdoor Adventures TV. And I'm going to go pee. <laughs>